class component. Uh, class component is a pretty uh, some kind of a class in other languages, but as usual, uh, class component have some other methods like call render constructor, and uh, also we need to extend the class name into the React. So let's jump into the code, and I will use I will show show you how to create a class component. So same class component dot js in the right hand side. As usual, React create class component and export. Create React. React create class. So and class export. So as you see, so we are creating a sample class component here. If you don't want this export here, then you put it in the bottom and copy. Copy the class component and put here. So this is a simple class component. Uh, it's a simple class component. As I told, uh, if you write like this, just a class, like a class or uh, some class name. If you go with this, it's just a class. Uh, kind of a uh, we can use to create an object and something. But when you try to extend the class, this is a class we are going to extend for the component. For the component means a React component. You can see we have the React importing here. So inside the React, we have dot. Inside that, we have the multiple things. It will say the component. It will say the pure component. There are multiple things there. If you take component, this reacted component is equal to component. Why? Because we are importing here. And inside that, you can do a pure component as well. So like this, if you want to extend this class component into pure component, you can directly replace with that. So we will see uh, what is pure component in later. Uh, currently, we will focus into what is component. So I just remove these two lines. Yep. So this is a class component. So as usual, we need to create a class and needs to extend with the React component. Then only it will act as a component. And after that, uh, as we told, as I told, uh, React class component is have the explicitly have the render function, but uh, functional component doesn't have render function. So what is the purpose of render function? So uh, uh, in the previous session, I explained. So render is nothing but to convert the convert our code into the junk file or the compiled JS file, and it will send to the browser and uh, Within the help of engine, browser can understand the JavaScript file, and it will be it will be visualized uh, what are the custom flag blocks, CSS functionalities uh, available within the file. It will be visualized, and it will be help us to interact with that. So that is the purpose of a render method. Without render method, class component is not working. You can see some errors here, right? So uh, explicitly, a render method is available only for class component. Not for functional component. Keep in uh, keep in your mind that will help you to easily create the components. And uh, and other things we can use constructor here because all the class components have default constructors. So within that you can do your own functionalities. What are the things you want? What are the things you want? You can do. You can declare the variables. Everything you can do within this. Uh, if you want to use this class common component in Abdul JS file, similarly, you can use the component name here, and you need to import in the top of the layer. So here I import in class component. I am just using this. We save it and go back to the browser. Life cycles. So there are three different life cycles. The first one is mounting. So what is mounting? Mounting is nothing but uh, when the application is going to build in the browser. When the user start typing the URL and he he click enter and after that it will call the files uh, to the server and once the, once the once the file successfully retrieved from the server and it start mounting the things in the browser and what about updating updating nothing but if the user doing something or uh, the developer call the API at that time he retrieves the data from the API and he needs to update the uh, visualize the things like it may be a table or it may be some visualized images videos anything. So everything will be in the updating cycle. And what about unmounting? Unmounting is nothing but when you uh, switch from one page to another page, at that time, your previous page will be unmounting. Or if you are going to close the page, 
at that time your current page and application will be unmounted from the browser so that is called uh, the, some of the life cycles of components and its life cycles have its own methods that will help you to handle the uh, functionalities let me show uh, what are the methods available for each cycles so you don't need to memorize everything so in every day it automatically come to you uh, when you start working on the project so as i told mounting mounting is nothing but to initiate the pro, initiate the application or the component so whenever we are entering any kind of com, uh, component at that time very firstly constructor will call that's the first place that's the first place to initiate the application or the component so these all the components and functions available only for class component not for a uh, function component uh, mounting is nothing but it going to help us the initiation uh, initialization of the component and application right so uh, in the very first time constructor will call after that you get derived from state from props so don't confuse yourself uh, state and props we will see in upcoming uh, slides i am going to cover today no worries so this is a uh, default function provided from uh, react class components so get derived from state from props what is that actually we we are storing something in state and we are receiving the state variable into the props so how to do that we will see uh, the later slides and render method i already explained render will help us to render in external blocks along with the javascript code to the browser and component did mount so this is very important life cycle so component did mount is whether your component whether your component is mounted or not if that is successfully mounted then you can retrieve some data uh, some acknowledgement through this particular function so there are multiple mount, uh, multiple things there like a component did mount component will mount component uh, uh, unmount will unmount and should component update so there are multiple uh, life cycles available and depends upon the situation we will use the particular life cycles okay so these are the sample mounting uh, sample functions for the mounting and for updating life cycle uh, updating is nothing but the application is already rendered in the browser after some time uh, there are there are some some ha some events happen like uh, the user clicking the button or user uh, filling the form or uh, user scroll the page so any kind of events happening at that time uh, the particular uh, dom tree will update with the help of uh, api data or user interaction so at that time we need to capture the event we need to re-render the uh, particular block so that is updating life cycle for that uh, this get derived straight from props again it will help us and should component update this is one of the conditional conditionable function uh, or callback so it will help us to uh, whether the component needs to update or not this is the right time like that it will uh, this is the function to take a call at that situation and again the render method as we know and get snapshot before the update so whenever we are going to update the particular component at that time so the data uh, came from other components or other places at that time this particular function this particular function receive the snapshot and validate that and uh, send back to the render function and it will re-render the particular component again the component did mount the same thing whatever we discuss here and unmounting as i told whenever you leave from one component to another component at that time the previous component uh, whatever stored in the state or whatever subscribed everything will be unsubscribed all the state will be clear so that is uh, will take in care of this unmounting component function okay uh, i hope at least you are able to understand what is mounting and updating and unmounting so now worry about these kind of functions so whenever we are when, when we start working on the real application in the later sessions at that time you can easily understood oh, uh, this kind of uh, functions we need to use this kind of function we don't need to use like that you can easily understand don't break your head now